So I am back again with another video about my friend Ben because he's going full crazy. He spent over one million dollars to buy images on the internet. Hi, I'm Ben. I bought this image for $20,000. One month later, it's now worth $40,000. The world is insane, I am insane, and in the next five minutes, I will make you insane too. What? Come, come, come see this, come see this. This is all the art pieces that you have, mm -hmm. and all these pictures on the internet are worth 1.5 millions today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, they were worth 1.2 million. Ben is the craziest guy I know. He left Harvard after one semester. He got married after one date. He lived in a van even when he was a millionaire. He chased down people who stole his car and sent them to jail. And after going on a trip with me to Japan, he fell in love and got married with my Japanese friend, Mai. Hi, my name is Mai. Ben and I fell in love. Together, we are starting a company. So this is the crazy part. Both of them learned how to code and quit their jobs to make millions of dollars from NFTs. Okay, before we go any further, NFTs are a revolution. I did not understand them at first. What is an NFT? What is crypto? Why is this picture worth millions of dollars? After spending one week talking to Ben, I finally understand and I'm finally excited about the power of NFTs. And I convinced Ben to actually make a course about it and teach others what he taught me. And he said yes. So only on NAS Academy, Ben is teaching how to master NFTs, just like he did. And I'm very excited about that course because I was student number one. So the class is closing soon. Get ready, grab a seat, and you're gonna go insane. Okay, back to the video. So Mai and Ben realized that NFTs are gonna be big. Why? Because for the first time in the history of humanity, you can now own things on the internet. To put it simply, this video you're watching, even though I made it, I don't own it. Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram own it. Actually, if you download it, you can own it too. But if I turn it into an NFT, I, and only I, can own it forever. This is why NFTs are a technological revolution. This is why Ben bought this Squiggle NFT for $30,000. This is why he bought this frog for $2,000, which is now worth more than a Tesla. So you can buy a Tesla with that. I could buy a Tesla with that. Maybe I use one at this point. But at some point, this actually went all the way up to 80, and so it's worth over $30,000. And then he bought this, the most expensive NFT collection called CryptoPunks. Guess the price. Yeah. $450,000. It's known as the first ever profile picture NFT project. I think it's gonna be worth at least $10 million in 10 years from now. In total, he spent over $1 million buying NFTs from random artists on the internet to create his own virtual museum on the metaverse. So this is my virtual museum. I bought from one of the OG digital background artists for $10,000. This one, I bought from someone in Zimbabwe for $3,400. And it gets even crazier. Ben and Mai now are creating their own NFTs. They went on the internet, drew an octopus, and gave it features like eyes, body, hats. Then they put that octopus in a program, and the program made five thousand different images of an octopus and this is what blew my mind people were willing to pay four hundred dollars for every image just to own it so people want to be a part of a community and specifically our community is a learning community where we learn and grow in nfts and crypto together and they are willing to pay five hundred dollars for that even if ultimately it's just an image Ben is either the smartest person in the world or the dumbest. But after knowing this guy for five years, I know I should listen when he speaks. 
People like Ben, Mai, and all these super smart engineers on the internet are excited about NFTs and crypto, and for good reason. Because they know this technology will change the world. The world's gone insane, you are insane, and you're making the viewers insane. I hope you guys are insane now too. Whether we like it or not, technology is eating the world. So instead of fighting it, let us embrace it.